Our first daily headline is Escape from New York. With Derek Fisher saying the Knicks are not in a playoff or bust situation this year, it got people, notably Frank Isola, wondering what that means for Melo. Our buddy Isola writing today that if that's the attitude at the Garden, shouldn't Melo at least think about wanting out? As Frank mentions, Melo is of the age, uh, you know, 30 plus, not getting any younger, so his prime years are getting wasted. So if the Knicks don't think this is a playoff or bust season, Moose, should Melo want out? No. I mean, honestly, because he signed up for this. I mean, if he wanted a ready-made playoff scenario, he would have went to the Chicago Bulls. He wanted the most amount of money. He came here to the Knicks. He understood and he trusted in Phil Jackson. He understood it was a rebuilding process. And I think anyone legitimately looking at this Knicks team, even with the influx of the free agents, marginal ones at that, and the drafting of Kristaps Porzingis, you looked at this team that won last year 17 games. What exactly did he expect this year? Yeah, what I like about this story is the idea that Frank was sort of typing at home and twisting the knife in the Nick fan a little right. bit, just that, that passive-aggressive thing where you're like puncturing that idea that this year could be anything interesting, which has been what's been going on over the past five games or so, is that everybody's realizing that this year's about progress, but not playoff probably, or certainly anything beyond the first round if they got in. So I like what Frank's saying, and that let's relax about how great things are with the Knicks, uh, but he's still paired with Porzingis. He's still only going to be 32 next year. I, I, the Knicks are in a situation where if they add to those two guys, they could be better next year, I think. So that add a point guard, obviously, as we've been talking about. So I, I, I think that's... He, should hang tight and do and that. And they have the cap space to do that. Yeah, and I think also the argument is no because he's not going to the Warriors or the Cavs. So I don't think maybe his chances get better if he goes somewhere else, but I don't think he still has a shot to win. And he loves New York City. He loves being in this kind of spotlight and being the kind of star that he is. My argument for it would be Derek Fisher as a coach, you know, I don't believe in him. I don't know if Carmelo does, but the way he's been talking, we don't run plays. This is a process. That would grate on me if I'm Carmelo because it sounds like this coach is talking about everyone but me. Well, Melo, I does have a history of making sure he can get coaches out of here that he doesn't want, right. like Mike D'Antoni. But this is what drives you crazy. A week ago, it was about the recruitment of Kevin Durant. Right. I mean, that was what it was about 10 well, that's days the ago. Talk around and the now, a week and a half later, it's basically that Melo should want out of New York. This I mean, is, what are we I, doing this here? This is why I like this column because because it's kind I mean, of reminding the Knicks thing is way too up and down. I mean, come You're on. absolutely right. Well, it also tells us that we've also had no football to watch. We had a hockey <laughs> well, all-star uh, break, and so narratives are flying. <laughs> and I thought, you know, the playoff talk was premature, too. They start winning a couple games a row, and the Knicks start feeling great about themselves. I mean, let's be realistic. They might be better than they were last year, but that's not an accomplishment. Playing Pistons tonight, they will try to get back on track.